Okay, what's it gonna do? Oh no. No, no one yes, today. And all the old parts of Rotterdam except the town hall. Finding that it doesn't work. He bombed Rotterdam completely into the ground. Yeah. Why is it so annoying when someone makes a joke for a second time? I've been thinking about it the whole bus drive. That if you just say a pure fact, that you can listen to it 10 times. Yeah. But if you try to make a smart joke... Anyway, here we are in Rotterdam. We're gonna see the central station. This is the new central station though. And the bus driver said that it's very shiny. So it can be dangerous for drivers. Let's do this. This is easier. So this is the central station of Rotterdam. Covered with aluminium. I moved to the Netherlands for the first time four years ago and since then I wanted to visit Rotterdam because it's very different from every other city in the Netherlands but for some reason I never really made it So the difference is this time, no alcohol <laughs> <laughs> Rotterdam is world famous because it's the biggest port in, second biggest port in Europe don't say something like a Roman Empire right now. No. No, I think Antwerp is the biggest port in Europe. And then... Uh, <laughs> Mister. And then History Rotterdam. lessons. <laughs> the third is Hamburg, I think. Um, so we need to see that. But we're going to the old one. Right? And then I also want to go to this market hall. Rotterdam is very different from every other Dutch city because yeah, it was destroyed. Modern. Uh, during the World War II. David doesn't vibe with modern buildings. Even though I like old buildings and I like old cities, I still enjoy being around this modern neighborhood. So I think that's why I always wanted to come to Rotterdam, but I couldn't convince David before that. He doesn't really have a plan like we had in Antwerp. I actually wrote a few things. There was also walk over the Rasmus Bridge. I wanted to go to the zoo, but David doesn't no. want to go. I wanted to see flamingos. Yeah, we took a pit stop for a morning coffee. And it was not nice. Actually. I can take a nap. Yeah, so now we're gonna... There is the whole center of Rotterdam. What do you train here? That's a very good fish. I don't know actually. So today is coming up one week in the Netherlands. Hence, it, hence everyone is, who uses hence in his spoken language. Hence. <laughs> I like hence. I do not know what that means, but it's like a small port and Port Pavilion. This is like a kind of a museum area, more maritime museum area. And um, yeah, cute boats everywhere. Look at this one. And here is like an interesting one that has come all the way from Antwerpen. Don't 
Cause you know I fucking hate it Been ups and downs but I'll make it Okay, now David got really hungry, so we are going to the market hall and he's also very sad that he lost the chess game. How did I explain this place to you? This is, this is the place. This... I've been there before. Yeah, it's very difficult to avoid this place when you are in Rotterdam. I was there. here during uh, Covid and it was like insanely strict rules in there. For, like a fine kind of... So David really takes this seriously. So yeah, we have to take a lap around, check everything, try everything that they have on the counter, yeah. and then he will make a decision. And that will determine if David's gonna be happy today or not. Kibling, I don't know what you can call I think, I'm not sure. And squid, shrimps. <laughs> we are in a post lunch food coma, so we are just walking now to wake up and also search for places to be uh, maybe an hour or so. compliment from David is quite all right. <laughs> Hello everyone. Please look at the bridge opening. Every time this happens, all the tourists start to record <laughs> because apparently it's awesome. Especially when you are late to work or to school and then this happens, then you have to wait for... It depends on the size of the bridge. Yeah. This one probably will take a lot of time. This guy. Here's another bridge opening. I think today we're gonna spend all day waiting for bridges. <laughs> This is my limoncello, and what did you order? A smoothie. Because they are recording That's the one I want. This is the best latte I've ever yes. had. I really like it, how it reflects the whole city.
every time I travel somewhere, when I come back to Amsterdam, even though I like some other cities, for example, I liked Antwerp as well, but every time I come back, I just realize how much I love Amsterdam and I just appreciate it even more, even though I appreciate Amsterdam all the time. Yeah, I have a very busy day tomorrow. I'm going for a run in the morning and then I'm gonna go to this place where they rent out the subs and boats and soup. all that. It's pronounced like sub. No, soup. No. Soup. Soup. And you also have to say it fast. Soup. Soup. It's, it sounds soup like a soup. Soup means like what's up. Yeah, but it's better than soup. No, not soup. <laughs> soup. Probably I'll end up in the lake very soon. We'll see, but it's gonna be a nice weather, so I'm extremely excited.